Hi friends, welcome to another GT coding video. In this video, we will learn how to link our CSS and JavaScript files to our custom WordPress theme. In the previous video, we started creating our custom WordPress theme and uh, we created the style.css file and the index.php file. In this video, we will learn how to link our CSS and JavaScript files to our theme and we will also create a header and a footer file. So let's get started. So here I have opened local and I have started this site called GT coding that we had created. So you can start it by clicking on a button called start site over here. And after that, just click on admin and it will take you to the login screen of our WordPress website. So we'll just click on admin. So here we are in the dashboard of our website. So if you just go over here and visit our site, we can see that this text is displayed from our index.php file. So first of all, we'll create a header and a footer file. So we will open local and here we'll just right click on it and click on show folder. So here is our website. We'll just go inside the folder and click on app. Then we'll go inside public and we'll go inside WP content and themes. So this is our theme. We'll just go inside here and I will just right click over here and click on open with code. So now we have our project opened in Visual Studio Code. So we'll just go ahead and click on new file and we'll create a file called header.php. And then we'll also create a file called footer.php. So in header.php, we'll just type some basic HTML file template. And we'll give the title as GT coding. And here we'll create a header and inside that we'll create an h1 we will say header here and in our footer we'll just cut these two lines of code and paste it in our footer and we'll also create a footer over here so we we'll just type footer and in here we will type footer goes here so now we have created the footer and the header files for our website. Now we need to import them into our index.php file. So there is a function in WordPress called get header. So we'll just open PHP over here and we'll type get header. And then we'll close our PHP. And for the footer, there is a function called get footer. So these are WordPress specific functions. So when we call this function called get header, it will search for a file called header.php and, and whatever is in that file will be copied over here and the same goes with the footer file. So now we will save this and go to our website and we'll refresh it. Here we can see we have the header and the footer displayed on our index.php file. Now we need to link our CSS and our JavaScript files to our theme. So we'll just go to our project and here we will create a folder called JS and we'll create a JavaScript file called main.js. And for now we'll just type alert hi from main.js. So to link our CSS and JavaScript files, you cannot do it right here in the header file. You have to do it using a WordPress hook called WPNQ script or WPNQ style. So for that we have to create a new file called functions.php. So functions.php file is an important file in our WordPress team because we can do a lot of interesting things using that file. Like we can add our CSS and JavaScript files to our WordPress theme. We can add new categories to our posts. We can add new features to our theme. We can add filters to the search and there are a lot of things that we can do using the functions.php file. So we'll just go ahead and create a file called functions.php 
you have to make sure that it is exactly spelled functions.php or else it won't work and it should be placed in the root folder of your theme so here we will add some php code to include our css and javascript files so we'll add a comment and we'll say adding the css and js files so we'll create a dedicated function to link all our files so we'll create a function called gt setup now to link a css file you have to type wp nq style and in here you have to give some parameters so the first parameter is the name of our css file so we can give any name over here i'll just give a name called style and the next parameter is the destination of our file so to link our style.css file we have a function called get style sheet uri but if you have a different style sheet with a different name then you can add it using a different method that i will show you right now so the next parameter is what are the dependencies of our css file so we'll type null over here the next parameter is the version number of our file so we can type a version number like 1.0 or something but since we are developing our theme we need to make so many changes to our style.css file so every time we make a change we have to change this version number to something like 1.3 1.4 so this can be a difficult thing to do so so instead of the version number you can type micro time so what this does is that it returns the current time in microseconds so every time you refresh the page you will have a new version number you of course have to change this to a version number after the development is over but for our development we will just leave it to micro time and the last one is what are the devices that are going to be supported so we'll just type all now the next thing to do is add our javascript file so we'll type wp nq script and here also there are five arguments the first one is the name the second is the destination and the third is the dependencies the fourth is the version number and and the fifth argument is whether we want it to be placed in the footer or not for our name we will type main over here and for the source we have to give the path of this file over here so there's a function in wordpress called get theme file uri this returns uh, this root folder of our theme and in here you just have to type slash js and main js so this will get the link of this file over here so you can use this same method for your css files that have different names and the next parameter is the dependencies we'll just type null and next is the version number we will have micro time over here as well because we are going to be making changes and the last one is whether we want it to be loaded in the footer so we will type true over here because we want it to be loaded in the footer now we also need to link google fonts and font awesome to our website so here we'll type wp nq style and we'll give the name as google fonts and we will grab the link from the design that we had created so we'll go to our design file so we'll just open it in a different text editor so this is the link of google fonts so we have to copy from this forward slash over here and till here so we'll just copy it and paste it over here and we'll just leave out the rest of the arguments and for our font awesome we will just type nq style and here we will type font awesome and we'll grab the link from here and we'll paste it over here so now our gt setup function is completed now the next thing we need to do is add an action to tell wordpress to execute this function so we'll type add action 
and the first parameter is when the function should be executed so we'll type wp nq scripts so this should be typed exactly like this and uh, the next parameter is the name of the function so the name of our function is gt setup so here we have added our action and the last thing we need to do is go to our header.php file and here we have to add a function called wp head so we'll go into php mode and here we will type wp head and we'll close php over here and in our footer we need to have another function called wp footer so now we should have our style and our script file linked to our website so we'll just go to our style.css file and we will add some styles over here so in our body we will type background color to be red so now if we'll go to our website and if we'll refresh this page we can see that our javascript is executing and if we click ok over here we can see that our styles are also applied over here so this is basically how you can link your css and javascript files to your wordpress theme so that's basically it for this video if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day